Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here bringing another everyday office video and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use one of these two macros to deliver on using a, uh, a template file for an email. As you can see the top macro is for sending out a new email using a template and the bottom one is for replying with that same template. So the first thing we've got to do is create a template file then the second thing we have to do is be able to use these macros to create buttons that we can push for replying. So step one is go into Microsoft Outlook and create a template email. Creating a template email is very easy. You go to new email and then you fill out whatever parts of this should be in your template. So for example, in the CC field, I might always CC my boss. In the attachments, I might always include this PDF file, and I might say a little bit of something here in the middle. Real quick point about this before we move forward. If you automatically put your signature at the bottom of your email, then your signature should not be part of the template because every time you use the template, it'll add your signature at the bottom. You don't want a double signature. So right here, I'm going to take off my signature. Perfect. It's at this stage where I take whatever I've just done and I save it as a template file. I go to the File tab within my email window, go to Save As, and I save it in the format Outlook template. You can call this anything you like. I'm going to call mine um, reply with attachment. Notice here I'm putting in a file name that doesn't have spaces in it. It's not essential, but it's important that you know what you call this template because you're about to put it into your macro, right? So it's easier for me <clears throat> not to mess around with whether things have spaces or not. I'm just going to go ahead and put in reply with attachment with no spaces and then click save. And now you can go ahead and close this because you've done what you needed to do. You saved the template file. Now, just as a quick point here, this is how you would use it if you didn't have the macro at your disposal. You click new items, go to more items, go to choose form, then in the look in drop down menu, you go here to user templates and file system. And you've got to do this one time because right here, it's important for you to copy the location of your templates. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And right here in my notepad file, you'll see I can paste this as the file path. So there it is. See users, my username, app data, roaming, Microsoft templates, slash. What is the file name? Reply with attachment. And in the same way, I could use it down here in the reply macro. Paste that file location and file name. Reply with attachment. Looking good. Okay. So that was way farther than I want to go to be able to use a template file, but it is good to get there so you can copy your location for your template emails live. The next thing you've got to do is you've got to have a developer tab at the top of your screen. If you don't have the developer tab, just right click anywhere on the ribbon and choose customize the ribbon and you'll be able to turn on the checkbox for the developer tab. Now, once you do that, you can click on the Visual Basic button here on the left-hand side of the screen. Inside of Project 1, inside of Microsoft Outlook Objects, you're going to double-click on this Outlook session, and it's this blank sheet of paper right here. Now, you make a macro by typing in sub and then the name of the macro. And I'll go ahead and call this reply with PDF, or actually, yeah, PDF attachment open close parentheses. And then when you hit enter, it'll put that end sub down there at the bottom. So what we need to do now, you can see I decided to create a reply macro. That's the difference. The whole difference here is that you are keeping the people who are originally on the email, right? So I'll go in here, I'll copy all the body of this macro and paste it right in here. 
It's a good idea to indent these so it's easier to see what's related to what. Now let's just go through this very quickly. So we have the original email and then we have the reply to that email. We take the original email and set that to whatever email is currently selected in Outlook. And the reply is your template. So you can make as many of these as you like with different uh, email templates. The to field is the original sender. The CC field is the original CC folks. And the reply subject is the original subject. Then we take the body of the email and put in both the reply and the original email. And then at the end we display it because we don't just want to send it. We want to show it to you so you can make any customizations you need. And that's it. You've now created a macro. How do you want to use that macro? Well, probably the fastest way to use this macro is to put a button right up here on the top of the screen. So I'm going to go to my home tab, right click on the re uh, respond group of the home ribbon and choose customize the ribbon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that respond group over here on the right. I have to make a new group right here to put my button into. I can't put a new button into respond. So I click on new group right there and I'll rename it um, special responses or something like that and hit OK. And now over here on the left I say let me grab a macro. There is my reply with attachment macro or PDF macro right there. So I've added it and let me click on rename right here and give it a better button. So I will push the reply, let's go with these back arrows. I'll call this reply with PDF. Sure, that seems like a good name for it. And then hit OK. So you can imagine that you might make a whole bunch of macros for a whole bunch of different templates and then add them all to the special responses group right here. Then hit OK. So now, if I click on this email, let's say this one from Mini, right? Originally, I was the two, Mini's the sender. I'm going to push the reply with PDF button. And right there, I'm replying to Mini. I've got Jacqueline as a CC. I've got the subject line. I've got the attached PDF and my templated text. And I can repeat that as often as I need to.